Welcome to Electron Line. In this set of videos, we're going to talk about determinants. Now, of course, we'd like to start with a nice definition of what a determinant is. And I found that it's actually quite difficult to define a determinant because it's basically a mathematical operation and it cannot be independent. In other words, it depends on something else. It really is associated with doing something with matrices. So therefore, every definition about determinant starts with a determinant of a square matrix is. In other words, if you don't have a square matrix, there's no point in talking about determinants. The determinant is some sort of operation that you do on square matrices. So here is what I think is my definition of the determinant. The determinant of a square matrix is a computed value, a single number. So when you take a determinant or calculate the determinant of a square matrix, you end up with a single number, which is computed from the elements of that square matrix. So you take the elements of a square matrix, you do some sort of operation on it, and you get a single number. And that's what we call taking the determinant or calculating the determinant of a square matrix. Now, what do we do with determinants? What are they good for? Well, it turns out that the computed value that you get out of calculating a determinant, either from one determinant or a, or a set of determinants, those can be used to solve a system of linear equations. That's one way in which you can utilize determinants. Or you can use them to analyze those solutions and to perform a number of other mathematical operations, including such as finding the inverse of a matrix, find eigenvalues, eigenvectors, solve differential equations, and a number of other things that you can do with determinants. So they're good for a bunch of things, and we're going to go through those step by step. As an example, a non-homogeneous system of linear equations has a unique solution if and only if the determinant of the system's matrix is non-zero. So if you have a matrix that's derived from a system of linear equations, a system of non-homogeneous system of linear equations, and then you find the determinant of that matrix and it's not zero, then you know there's a unique solution to that matrix. So it gives you some interesting information, some good utilization in such a way that you can find out all kinds of things about the matrices that you're dealing with. So again, determinant is something that you do with the elements of a matrix to give you information to solve linear equations or systems of linear equations, to solve differential equations and all kinds of other good things. So now at least you can see that it's not an independent entity, but it simply is something you do with a matrix square matrix for that has to be an n by n matrix and then you can find all kinds of other things from that matrix using determinants hopefully that's a good start we'll have a few more videos that will zero in a little bit more about what a determinant actually is